We are coming to you from an undisclosed location. We've got breaking news. This side of my hair is higher than this side, but Tugger has a story to tell you. All right, so a couple weeks ago, my daughter goes shopping with her friend. This is Oreo. She shows back up with these two little crazy dinosaurs. Parkour! This is banana. Which prompted my other two daughters. This is Chippy. To go and get their own dinosaurs. This is Nala. And then about a week later, tragically, one of them passed away. This is Pearl. We went and got three more. This is Jenny. I don't have enough hands. And this is Big Red. Apparently I'm a chicken farmer now. But Trevor said he'd help me build a coop because I guess I need a place to live. Back in my younger day, I built a coop once. It's still in use today. It was a lot cheaper back then. It's awesome. So we ran over to the local feed store to check out the price of a chicken coop, $1,600. That's a lot of money for me. Maybe not Tucker, but for me. I make as much as you make. <laughs> so uh, in the spirit of saving money, we went over to the local hardware store. We loaded up on two by fours, three by fours, two by threes, one by twos, one by fours, put them on the four by four, and here they are. So that's the basic idea. Whether or not it's gonna end up looking like that is uh, still debatable. Up until this point, we've just been keeping them in these little breeder boxes that I made by hand. Like a couple of 12 old subwoofer box. And then this is what they recommended at the store, starter grower mix. Fundamental nutrition. Speaking of fundamental nutrition, we ain't spraying chickens anymore. And this isn't even my fridge. I drive an hour each way every day in the morning. So I don't have a lot of time to prepare proper meals. AG1 gives me the vitamins and minerals and all the stuff I need to have a productive day by helping my mind, my body, my overall general health. Where do you think the dad jokes come from? I tell you a potato joke, but I don't know where to start. I made the mistake of bringing my canister home and my wife got a hold of it. Tucker brought it home and I was like, oh, I'll try it just to see what it's like. And I haven't seen it since. And I started every morning and now I can't stop. But little does she know, AG1 comes in these little travel packs. As a mom of four, it helps keep my energy level up and I just feel really good when I take it. So yeah, I totally took it from Tuck. AG1 uses the highest quality of ingredients so you're Tummy isn't tied in knots like this stuff. It's easily absorbable and usable by the body. So you can be sure what goes into your body is being used by your body and not just coming out of your body. So go to drinkag1.com slash misadventurelab or scan this QR code to get five free travel packs and a year's supply of vitamin D3 and K2 with your first subscription. And I don't know if it does anything for hair, but look at this. You could use a little AG1. Thank you, AG1, for sponsoring this video. We've got a chicken coop to build. Give me a little kiss. She likes you. Salmonella. So we're gonna build this off the ground a little bit so that the chicken, like in this time of day, I guess it's shaded now, but if there's ever any sun, they can go underneath and get a little shade. How much are you gonna feed these chickens? How big are they gonna get? At least as big as Dookie's. Speaking of that, bring out your dog. <laughs> no. <laughs> I roast him enough. He doesn't need to be roasted by the other one. <laughs> These are the feet. But now Tucker is going to cut the edges of the base. We will put said edges together in a rectangle, put some joists. Joists. And then we'll continue our climb upwards. You guys sure got a lot of time on your hands. You guys, the pre-drill. Now we gotta cut the floor. So that should be six by four. So we'll just cut two feet off of four by eight. Whoa. Quarter inch plywood. This only has to support the weight of a chicken, which if they're flying, they weigh nothing, right? Come, you won't let uh, Tucker grow, I mean shave into a handlebar mustache in solidarity. I'm afraid we buy Harleys and go riding off. That would be fun, actually. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we got a good base, but we're gonna pick this up tomorrow.
filming. So right now, all we're trying to figure out is doors. So we want to have obviously the little chicken access, but we want to have access for normal sized chickens. We're going to do the nesting boxes across the front. A lot of, a lot of farmers mats. It's farmer stuff. This is big brain time. You can do it when you put on these overalls. Loosens up these areas. Get better blood flow. Brain. <laughs> Yeah, that was up. You know, we just come up here with this. I got, I got one. I got a shark. I got a sea snake. I got a big one. Big one. It's a tree. <laughs> okay. The, this one's long. Oh, yeah. 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 So, this is the floor of the nesting boxes. So, what we're going to do is we're going to sandwich the lip in between frame and base because that's what Trevor said to me. I don't know what I'm doing. Trevor knows exactly. Why are you listening what to me? I always listen to Trevor. I overbuilt mine trying to underbuild this one and overbuild it at the same time. <laughs> so what do we do here in this adventure lab? We waste boards people's time. Like yours. Thanks for being here. Don't hit me, Paul. Hold the lantern still. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Except to that one guy in the comments. You know who you are. I wouldn't pay five dollars for that chicken coop. Good thing. It ain't for sale. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get this roof finished up. We'll be right back. Yeah, don't chicken out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna smash your nut. Now you got me all gun shy. <laughs> well, you see what you're doing with the I like when you teamwork it. What do you feel about this so far? Uh, well, the weather's picking up, and we don't got enough roofing, so I don't feel good. What do you think, babe? I love it so much. Well, the storm done blowed over. So we're back at it. We're gonna put the sides on, the lid on, the tin on. We even bought some winders today. This is gonna be a proper coop. Let's call me Lumberjack, cause we're splitting wood over here. So much for not having to pre-drill. I mean, granted, this isn't exactly what these were made for, but still. If you're looking for pre-drill, you ain't gonna find it on this channel. We ain't got time for pre-drill. We're just doing a little pre-drilling. I think you're supposed to do that before it splits. Post-drilling. Good as new. Look at this door Trevor made. It's a simple door dating back to forever. Dolly, look here! There you are. <laughs> I couldn't see you. When you got winder, you got Tudor. Oh, I get it. Wait, no. no, I get it. <laughs> no, that's stupid. <laughs> Where there's one winder, there's two winders. Yes, we know they're backwards. But we don't want to go inside to open and close the windows. Chickens don't know how to open and close windows, so we got to do it for them. Chickens knew how to open windows. Collapse. <laughs> I just got back from the airport. Look who I picked up. Oh, Let's... my arms are tired. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see that head. Look at that. Look at that. I got so many people who are willing to go to Turkey with me. I thought I saw a rumor that George was willing to get part two done. I am. 
it's it's weird because like like now I'm like oh, and then you go. Can't quite can't quite do the <laughs> full thing yet. <laughs> we are in the home stretch. We're just trimming this out right now. We got this piece to do. Finish up the lid. Tucker went for the plain lid and tried to talk him into something a little more fancy. It's just a coupe. It's been taken over by the youths and their own leader. <laughs> you ring Doors it on hinges. One. We've got the chicken door sprung loaded. It's coming together. This is the coolest chicken coop I've ever seen. That's just because you haven't seen the original one Trevor built. I have. Naomi showed me. Oh, did she? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh you outdid yourself. I, I guess I'll, I'll take it as a compliment. Then my mom will disagree. My mom will fight you over it. <laughs> so close. Starting to get a little bit nitpicking. And I need to stop myself, but I can't. It's just a chicken coop. We might have to live in this one day, the way the economy's going. The hinges are coming on. We got like a few more pieces of trim. We might beat the sun. Lid. Open. Close. Light for the kids. Tucker is going to finish the run once we put it in place, paint it. But you know what? I got some hog knee tendon and I'm going to get out of here. chicken house. It turned out pretty good. So we've got golf balls for when they're old enough to learn how to lay an egg. We've got this beautiful fencing. Keep them in until they figure out we can fly a little bit. Oh, and check this out. I wanted my daughters to be able to open and close the coop from the outside. So I ran this string across the top over to the gate. And then of course, we've got the ramp. We've got feeders. Thanks again to AG1 for sponsoring this video. Thank you for joining us on our build. And until next time, we'll see you next time.